and just let the jellyfish fly over. Oh, you see that one go right in front of my face. Wait. Yeah. Direction I'm facing. Ooh, here we go. Okay. So now it looks like can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Alright, so it looks like I am fully underwater standing on the floor of the ocean. Honestly, and this is just the menu. <laughs> hey is, everyone, this is a two girls, one let's play of the blue for the, blue. the HTC Vive with room scale. So we're in about a three meter by two point five meter room. So specific. Well, I want to make it, make sure people understand what. Yes, it's I taste out the room, and it is three point one by two point six meters. <laughs> it says so when you do room scale, you dick. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were just being like. Hey guys, I measured the room exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we are playing The Blue, which is an underwater simulation for the HTC Vive. So the first one I want you to do is, is the whale one, just so people can, because that's the shortest one. Yep. Back on the holodeck. Oh, here we go. Woo! See all those fish? Yeah. Alright. So we got tons of fish. It so they're seeing a flat screen. Because uh, I'm looking at the uh, the mirrored version of what Stacy is seeing, but on a flat surface. So what I see, I'm technically seeing what Stacy is seeing, but Stacy's seeing it in a different dimension. Yeah. In another dimension. <laughs> Um, okay, so the way it looks to me is it looks like I'm actually standing on the ship. And it's really hard to describe how much it actually looks like this. But it really it really does. It feels like you're in it. In comparison to your body, how big does that whale feel? Just the eye. Just the eye? Yeah. The eye looks like it's maybe the size of my head. I think. Yeah. Yeah, like just, just the eye itself, not all the flesh around it. Because it's hard to conceptualize that if you're seeing it on a screen, you're like, oh, it's on a screen. But it, when yeah, you right. have the HTC Vive on, it looks like it's absolutely gigantic. Yeah, actually, the pu I think my head is the size of its pupil. And the, the flipper looks like it's like 15 feet big, maybe. And, and you can see definite depth perception. <laughs> So on some, one thing we want to make clear is that it doesn't look like it's a, just a screen that's close to your face. It looks like a three-dimensional yeah. thing that you exist in. And to be clear, like I was telling Mari, I had pretty low expectations when when she told me that she got the HTC Vive because I was like, oh, you know, it probably looks okay, I guess. Don't do that one. It's too scary for you. Go to the left. The Abyss one? Yeah. I want to do the Abyss one. <laughs> okay. Go into the turtle one, because that's your favorite. Okay. Turtle one's my favorite, too. Just right-click it. Um, hold on. It says... I just want to exit the menu. Well, Stacy, what'd you do? I exit... Well, it said, it like, the menu was still up. Oh. It wasn't letting me select anything. There okay. we go. Right, this one is my favorite one, and this is the one that I think most people should play just as an introduction to the blue, to VR because you know it's the simplest interactions, but the best okay. interactions. So how this looks to me, and I saw somebody else play this. It looks like I am standing on a reef, surrounded by fish. Like these fish look like they're right in front of my face. And it looks like some are closer and some are farther away. Oh yeah, definitely. Like everything looks very three-dimensional. It's really hard to describe because the first time I put it on, I couldn't handle it. Like last night, I, you know, Stacy could only handle playing two games because it was too much. Yeah, and then I was like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, because it was her first experience and when I was setting it up, like, I was getting used to it, but I was like, here, Stacey, it works perfectly, and she kind of got overwhelmed yeah. by the sensory input. See the turtle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, can you touch the sea anemones for them? Oh, yeah, of course. So when you touch them... Okay, now slow down time and then touch one. 
Yeah, you can slow down time and touch one, and it'll take a few seconds for it to start soaking in, but this is something I like to do, is watch everything move in slow motion. See how they're going, like, they're, they're nothing. And again, you guys are seeing a flat, a flat thing, but when you put on the HTC Vive, it's not like having a screen close to your face. It's actually like having three dimensions. Like you're you're seeing in 3D, but better than any 3D you've ever seen at like the movies or anything. It really does feel like you got plopped inside a video game. Yeah. Last night, Stacy was saying that um, it doesn't feel like real life, but it feels like you're inside a video game with actual physical objects around you. Yeah. So when people say, oh, it's 3D, it's not like how you imagine when you go to the movies or something. Not like a 3D movie. It's not like that. It's like you're physically in the space. Yeah. Like imagine for real being in this and like things are closer and farther away. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Like see this like uh, this uh, thing I'm looking at right here, this little ledge. Yeah. That it looks like I could just walk right off of it. Yeah. You don't. Your you don't instinct, realize that there's just like a floor and carpet over there. No. It, your instinct is to literally not go over there because you think you will fall over. Yeah. Even though, even though you know in your head that um, it's not real, you know, it's like it feels real. You're you're aware of it, but at the same time, your brain is like a little confused. Yeah, your brain thinks it's real. So here come the jellyfish. Oh, fuck yeah! And so a lot of people are like, the graphics aren't that good. Like from what you're seeing on the screen, to me it looks great. But you have to also include that this is being rendered three times for three different screens. And look how many things are on the screen. <laughs> like, And also, on top of that, the CPU is calculating where Stacy is in the room. Oh yeah, Stacy, walk around the room. You have a lot of space to move around. You can turn around. So I'm looking, so right now I'm like over by this little shelf thing. So it feels like I, I don't want to go over there. Know. Because there, you would be touching something. Yeah. Can you come towards my voice so I can fix the wires for you? <laughs> yeah. Because one's like under your armpit. <laughs> Pooping jellyfish. Oh, Stacey and I watched this video of this douchebag. I can't go any. Well, I can't go any. Punching. Oh, yeah. Oh, you think you're going to go into a thing? Yeah. We watched this video of this douchebag. Punching jellyfish. Punching the jellyfish. Like and I don't care if it's not real. Don't punch jellyfish. See, he's gently caressing the jellyfish. But you can see how, like, if I if I give it a little poke, it does move as if I've touched it. Yeah, but which is pretty cool. This guy was straight up like playing the bongos on some jellyfish. I know. He was I was like, pissed. I know. He was like punching them across the screen. <laughs> I was like, you asshole. <laughs> what a dick. Zula, oh man, look at those huge jellyfish. And you'll see, hopefully, one of. Oh, hello. Well, let it go through your body and, and see how that feels to you. Feels weird, right? Ooh. Yeah, it feels weird. Like a ghost. Yeah, you feel like you're gonna touch it, but it doesn't feel like anything. So it's like very strange body sensation. Yeah. Because your brain thinks that you're going to be touching it, but you don't feel it. All right, now when this goes over me, because I think it's gonna go right over my head, I'm gonna look underneath and into it because that looks really cool. You should slow down time for this. Probably a little bit too slow. Let me wait until it's like above me. But you can like look at all the jellyfish. Like something I like to do before I go to bed is turn this on and lay on the floor and just let the jellyfish fly over. Oh, you see that one go right in front of my face. Okay. Yeah. And also you can take screenshots if you click the left side of the thing. I don't know if I did it. No, I didn't do it. Well, it's, it's not like we can't throw this on again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? This is like a really amazing experience to me. Like, I feel like it was worth the money to get this. And it's so hard to explain to people what this feels like without showing, showing it. Because I, yeah. I was trying to explain it to Stacy, and she was still kind of like, eh, I don't care. Yeah. I called her up and I was like, Stacy, this is amazing. Mari like had like a spiritual experience and she was like, I've seen the VR Jesus and I was like, I don't get it. Yeah, I know. And I was trying so hard to explain it to her and she just was like, I've seen the light. 
And then last night, I had the background be the hollow deck, which is something Stacy has always wanted. Yeah. I always wanted to be on the holodeck, and so that was just a very crazy experience. So I put it on her face, and she was like, oh my god, it really looks like I'm on the holodeck. Yeah. And it looked like you could walk onto the Enterprise, didn't it? Yeah, it really, it did. It, it was like, oh, look at that. It felt like really weird, because it felt like, hey, I could walk out that door and just go say hi to Captain Picard. Which you, were, like, you almost cried, didn't you? Yeah, because it's like, you know it's not real, but at the same time, you're like, holy shit. You it's know? like that thing that you always fantasized about, and then, like, you finally got it, and it's very overwhelming. Yeah, and I mean, especially, like, even with the jellyfish, like, I, I, I don't like being underwater. Like, I would never be able to scuba dive. I don't really like snorkeling, because being in the water kind of freaks me out a little bit. So oh no, this is ocean like, scared the shit out of me, and yeah. this was scary for me at first, but then I was able to overcome it and relax. And I feel like that's why this is such a cool experience, because it's like, you know, this is something I would never be able to do in real life. Well, no, because actually, if scuba divers cannot go in clouds of jellyfish, because those are all poisonous. Yeah, because they so would this die. So this is something that other that people can't do in real life. Man. You got it? Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. Do you need anything else? No. Okay. Do you wanna? So the controllers. What? Okay. Am I turning? Yeah. Okay. I'm just getting you out of the port. That's all. Oh, okay. There you go. You're good. So this is actually pretty easy to do on your own, but I have over-the-ear headphones on right now, so. Okay. This is so disorienting <laughs> to just jump in. <laughs> Um, I want to see this Luminous Abyss one. Have you played it yet? Yeah, I have. You can play it after me. I just, I want to play right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay, ambient off. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but to the right of it, you can turn ambient on so you can just sit there and like relax for hours. Like you can go to sleep, you know, or whatever. But this is one that takes place at the bottom of the ocean. And I have a huge phobia of the ocean and not being able to see what's around me. And this kind of helped me get over it. I'm freaking out now, I'm freaking out, okay. <sighs> oh yeah, it's like I, all dark. Did you get I, Whoa. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Okay, so what really freaks me out is that I am in the carcass of a whale. Of a whale. Now, when I look over here, I will freak out. See, um, that's its mouth, I don't. Oh. But look, there's bioluminescent bacteria. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Isn't that really interesting? Biolumin like, I like seeing all the bioluminescent things. And uh, there's for the crabs. <laughs> okay. for, those, for those who aren't familiar, bioluminescence is basically like a natural like thing that glows. Natural glow in the dark. Yeah. Okay, so I'm freaking out because to me, it really feels like there's a dead body right here. Yeah, that you're standing in a dead body. Yeah, it, it really freaks me out. That's why it's kind of nice to do it barefoot, because then it's like... You know where you are. You can feel yeah. the wood floor underneath your feet. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you to take your shoes off last night, because it can get kind of scary. But, so here's that thing, and I can, I can look in oh, watch like out. that. Yeah, I can see the, the thing, but don't worry. So yeah, I can lean, is this the couch? Yeah, I can lean over the couch and that's fine. But it really feels like if I stepped over here, I would be touching the skeleton. And I touched Stacy's arm. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was my leg. <laughs> I touched Stacy's leg with my foot. <laughs> but it's kind of scary. Well, look over there. Do you see what I'm seeing? No, it just looks black. It's gonna come soon. But look, you can oh, see... Oh, now I see a little bit of the glowy stuff. What's really cool is that uh, all these particles that you're seeing right here... Yeah, are they super glowy to you? No, no, no. Those particles are like nutrients from the higher levels of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how the real ecosystem works. The, we're at the bottom of the ocean. All the nutrients falls down to the bottom. And these fish, they eat it. Or they have their own ecosystem based off of all these little flakes. All these flakes are fish poop and dead fish. Yeah. So I think that's really great. Well, you know, at the very bottom, they also have, like, the, like, I'm sure you've seen, like, tube fish. Yeah, those uh, tube worms. Yeah, that live near the, um, like, 
essentially the volcanic rifts. They so were, my feet feel tingly because I feel like I'm stepping in a dead whale park. Yes, <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, look at the fish. Yeah, the it's just a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Whew. Here's the jellyfish. So once it starts lighting up, I get a lot less scared. But it really looks like there's a jellyfish right here, like around my hand. Like I'm going like this, and that's what it looks. And like. you're hugging it. Yeah. Can you boop it? You can boop it. <laughs> I mean, that's what everybody really wants to know. And now I'm slowing down time and watching it move. I just took a screenshot. And soon, this is a really magical experience. It just causes oh, a lot of anxiety. Oh, look at all the little ones. Yeah. This is, oh my goodness. This one causes me a lot of anxiety, but I like to do it because it helps me get over that, you know? Yeah. Because once it gets later on, it is quite beautiful. Yeah, well, sometimes you have to, like, meet the fear head on. Yeah, definitely. In order to, you know, get past it. So now I can fully see the whale carcass. It's still freaking me out, but I'm looking at it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's the, the bones don't bother me so much as the half, like, eaten whale head. Yeah. But you can look at this. I take a screenshot. These get saved into your computer and you can share them later. I've been Ooh. posting them on Tumblr. So now you can see what this looks like and then you can put on the VR headset and say what it looks like in comparison, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, now it's, see now it's all lit up. It's, oh, the vertebrae. What? Oh yeah, the, you can see the vertebrae and crabs. See the crabs look white when the light comes. Yep. Tons of little glowy jellyfish. And I'm sure all of this looks like, you know, if something comes close to you, it, looks, it really does look like you can touch it. Or like it's going to hit you in the face. Yeah, that too. Like but in other games, when things sneak up on me, it scares the shit out of me. Because I'm like, ah! flashlight on it. It'll light up? Yeah, that's really cool to me. Yeah. Oh, credits. Your turn. That is so disorienting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to do that one. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty scary. That's why I was like, no, don't do it. But it is magical. It's both scary and magical. Do you want to do it or we can play something else? Go back to it later. Yeah, let's come back to it later. <laughs> no, I'll do it, but 